no nearer the truth now than we were before and frankly we probably never will be now so we haven't got justice for this girl and people are angry about that well if you want justice don't look to the criminal law system that's not its job its job is not to produce a just result its job is to produce a legally correct result we have a system that says better 10 guilty go free than one innocent be wrongly confined if you have a 60% likelihood a person did it, you must acquit. If you think he probably did it, you must acquit. If you think he almost surely did it, you must acquit. We acquit lots of guilty people, and that's the right thing to do. When we convict an innocent person, that's the wrong thing to do. That's our system of justice. Many people don't like it. Uh, many people think the opposite, that we have too much popular justice, too much dependent on elected prosecutors, elected judges, elected officials. The French, for example, don't understand our system. With the case that's going on now with the rape in New York, uh, they don't understand our system. They say it's much too popular. In France, there's a professional system. They have professional judges, professional prosecutors, professional jurors. We've opted for a much more democratic system. And it means that in the end, you're going to be dissatisfied with a lot of verdicts. Just don't expect too much from our legal system. Don't expect truth. Don't expect justice. Because that's not what it's supposed to give you. It's supposed to give you a legal process that only convicts if admissible evidence proves the case beyond a reasonable doubt. If you don't like that system, I got plenty of other systems for you that are more accurate. The Chinese system, the military justice system, the Russian system, many European systems, but the American system errors on the side Alan, of fleeing the guilty that, instead of the innocent. Uh, right.